guys, welcome to another episode of What's in My Closet. In today's episode, we are busy recreating some of the characters from the fighting game Mortal Kombat. And more specifically, I think it's Mortal Kombat 9, which is the one that I play a lot. Um, I think this game is age restricted, I'm not too sure, but I think it would be because there's a lot of violence and some outfits that many people may not be comfortable with. But it's basically just a fighting game and you get a bunch of different moves and I love playing it. I think the first time I played it was with my brother and with my sister and I'm creating four characters. I'm creating Katana, Jade, Melina and Sindel. So all four are females and they're either characters that like friends of mine has played or... I know Sindel and Melina, those were some of the two that I played when I first started. Um, and then Gitana, my sister always chooses and my best friend would play as Jade. So I decided to do those four lovely ladies because I just feel like there's kind of a storyline going between those characters. And I don't really want to give too much away just because I love kind of researching the storyline and learning new things I just think it's a lot of fun to do that there's more to the game than just fighting that there's an actual story so yeah basically I just really wanted to make the characters and it was a lot of fun for me to do I definitely want to create more of the characters um probably I'll make some of the guys next time I just I didn't do that in this episode because it's just really hard to find clothes for the guys. A lot of the clothes I used was CC and I was actually smart enough to write down the websites where I got the CC from for this video, unlike for my other videos. So I'll be sure to link that in the description if you also want to get some of the outfits that I chose for them. But anyway, over here we're on the second character that I'm busy doing. I'm making Melina and I don't know if I've done it yet I think I have but in the Mortal Kombat game she has like these kind of sharp teeth because you know she was created from a flesh pit it's it's really complicated but she has these sharp teeth and I kind of found them when I was going through some of the CC and I was just like you know what this is perfect for her so I gave her some of those sharp teeth which I actually really liked and they don't look exactly the same as the characters but I think you know I did a pretty good job considering it it was kind of hard to do it but again I had a lot of fun making these characters it was just it was really cool because I get to do more research and I got to look for like the different clothes and stuff so it was actually a lot of fun to do it I'm busy with Jade right now and for her she has a lot of different aspects so she has the face mask and she has the gloves and the boots and the top and the bottom and everything like that but while I was going through it I realized there was just too many different shades of green so there was like mint green light green dark green and a different shade of green and for me that's just too many greens so I incorporated like some more black into her outfit than she actually has because there wasn't much matching green colors and also I think I decided not to give her the face mask even though I think she has it in the game because again it was just too many different shades of green like I couldn't handle that so I took away the mask and because you could actually see her mouth I'm like okay let me try and make this as accurate as I possibly can so that's what I was busy doing with Jade that was like my main focus and for some of these girls I think all of them except for Katana they have that like shiny hair which like I don't really mind the style I felt like the style suited the characters a lot like that short hair for Melina and this kind of tied back ponytail for Jade it suited the character a lot but I just don't like the look of the shininess of the hair but in reality that was like the best fit possible so I just kind of stuck with it I was just like okay it's fine you know I can deal with it just for the video um, so I don't really like the texture that has that shiny type of hair I do like the type of hair like a toner where it matches the sims aesthetic 
but I couldn't really do much so in the end I was just like you know what it's okay <laughs> I can deal with it and over here we are busy doing the last character which is Sindel I think you can also call her Queen Sindel I'm not too sure and if you don't know some of the storyline she's actually Katana's mother so I used the genetics tab just to kind of make it so she looks a bit like her mother honestly out of all of the characters I think Sindel doesn't look as much like her actual character but I think that has a big part to play with the type of hair that I chose for her it was just really difficult to find hair that was like half half like had some black in it and some of the white in it and I think this was the best hair I could find so yeah it's not exactly the best but it was the best I could find and over here we're getting to the traits for Jade I made her want to be a bodybuilder she's athletic a perfectionist and ambitious and that's basically because I'm pretty sure she's like Katana's best friend as well as her bodyguard so yeah she kind of has to stay fit to be protecting Princess Katana and here we have Sindel. I know she was queen of a different realm. I don't want to butcher it, but basically I had her like do a lot with the outdoors just because I feel like her realm was very flowery and I made her hate children and not committal because she didn't seem like much of a mother figure to Katana, but I think that was part of the storyline. Over here we have Melina, which is romantic, insane, and family orientated because she's very flirty she's kind of crazy i i won't lie about that but she also seems like she'll do anything to please her father and she wants to be katana's sister but katana's like you're not my sister <laughs> so yeah and then for katana she's self-assured and a perfectionist i don't remember what other trade i gave her but i really hope you guys liked watching this video if you did please remember to leave a like and comment down below if you think these characters look like the actual characters from mortal kombat anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys